VC, what's going on? Uh, record store day drop number three. Um, yeah, got out this morning. I didn't have to go to two stores. I got everything at the first store that I wanted. Um, yeah, had the uh, mask on. Go Dodgers, up to one. World Series. Uh, but anyways, back to records. Um, this was the big one. This is the uh, clutch obelisk. Oh, mammoth box set. I'll probably be doing an opening of this at some time, but it's got 16 LPs, uh, signed record print, or signed a uh, print, a turntable mat. I think uh, the InGroove did a opening of it. So if you're interested in seeing that before I do it, then check it out. But yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, always been a fan of Clutch. Um, I never knew, you know, what album to get into with them, but, uh, you know, now I have them all, so I can't wait to dive into it. Um, next, All Jazz, Dexter Gordon, live at, uh, or live in Chateau Vallon, 1978. Dexter there with the group. Uh, yeah, limited edition, uh, newly discovered performance. So, looking forward to this one. I uh, haven't heard much about it. Um, looks like Dexter Gordon, George Cables on piano, Rufus Reed on bass, and uh, Eddie Gladden on drums. So, should be a good one. Uh, also got the other Dexter Gordon, which uh, I have heard about and really looking forward to. This is the Squirrel. Uh, feels like a double LP. This is number, oh, wow. Really no low number. Number 75 out of 3,000. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is at live at uh, Montmartre in uh, Copenhagen, 1967. As you can see, uh, Kenny Drew on piano, Bo Steef on bass, and Art Taylor on drums. So I already know this is going to be great. Next one, this was, uh, you know, one I had started reading about a little bit. And the more I read about it, the more I kind of wanted it. Um, I really like Jimmy Joffrey. This is the Jimmy Joffrey 3. Live at uh, Graz, 1961. First time ever on vinyl. I know his uh, wife uh, released this like 10 years after his death um, on CD. Uh, and then they finally put it on vinyl. So obviously Jimmy Joffrey on clarinet. Paul Blay on piano. And uh, Steve Swallow on the double bass. So looking forward to, to getting that. Um, Jimmy Joffrey can always push the boundaries, you know. 1961, he was doing some pretty uh, avant-garde kind of stuff. Um, and then, of course, uh, the one that everyone's probably going to be showing today. Miles Davis, uh, double image, rare Miles from the Complete Bitches Brew Sessions. Um, I know they released this on CD for the Bitches Brew, um, you know, double CD that they had and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to diving into this. Um, hearing some, uh, you know, rare miles from the same era. Um, you know, this is such a tremendous album, and uh, we're looking forward to checking that out. So, Record Store Day was a, uh, that's just kind of a short video. Uh, it wasn't a long line today. Um, I was like number four, so I was surprised that Clutch Box set was still there, actually, at number four. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, had a good time. Uh, got my Noble Records hoodie out here in Dallas. So, there you go, Dylan, if you're still watching. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a good day. Hope everyone else is getting everything they want. Looking forward to the RSD Black Friday. That's a lot of good stuff on that one. Resonance Records has a couple uh, releases coming out that day. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it, right? Oh, picked up donuts for the kids, so they're going to be all happy. But, uh, yeah, take care, guys. Have a good one.